Hey guys, so my January Ipsy literally got here yesterday while I was filming the every 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag product review video. So as I said in that video, I was like, I'm gonna try really hard to try out the products from my December 2019 video. That way I would have, be able to do an honest review before today's video. So I did manage to do that with today's look. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Let's go ahead and dive on into the January Ipsy. So I did peek, I do remember some of the products. I don't remember all of them. So this is gonna be like 50% of a surprise for me. We'll go ahead and dive on in. I pre-opened it, make my life easier. Looks like, oh, I forgot I had redeemed some of my points. So the first product's not really a product um, that I got in the bag. It is the Ofra Madison Miller Lip Gloss Smiley for Riley. And this is what it looks like. And I will try to do some swatches later. I am not having any luck getting some good lighting today. Sophie's attempting to make an appearance. I'm sure she'll make more of an appearance for those of you who are Sophie fans. But yeah, I'll go ahead and get a swatch of that and pop it right here. As for the actual products in this box, let's dive on in. So it looks like the first product I'm pulling out is Billion Dollar Brows Best Sellers Kit. So this is what the box looks like. I'm pretty excited about this because I feel like they don't do very many brow products at all. I feel like there's a lot of eyeshadows, a lot of lippies, a lot of blushes, um, and all the other products tend to just kind of get sprinkled in there. Uh, so when I saw that this was something I could be receiving this month, I was really excited. And then when I saw that I was going to get it, I was like, Kiss. so uh, we'll go ahead and pull this out. It looks like it contains a universal pencil, a brow duo pencil, and a brow gel and a smudge brush. So as I've mentioned in the past, I don't do a whole lot with my brows normally. They're normally, I, all I do is really just like tweeze them to get them to the shape. And sometimes I fill them in, but I almost feel like when I do fill them in, it's almost a little too bold. It's, it's almost a little too much. Uh, and this is what these look like out of the box. This is the duo pencil for the concealer and the highlighter. Interesting, okay. This is the smudge brush. This is the spoolie with the pencil itself. So that's pretty cool. And then this must be the gel. Yeah, this is the gel. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Oh, I probably should have started with the card, but this month's theme is clean slate, which I think is very fitting for January. This is your year. Say goodbye to what no longer serves, your earth words. Say goodbye to no. Sorry, had some technical difficulties. So this is the card, clean slate, and it shows and gives me a better uh, info about everything inside of it or inside of the box. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. The next product is an eyeliner by the brand Sugar, and it is the Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner. So I do like my eyeliners. I don't hate it or I don't get upset when they come in my Ipsy. And again, I'll go ahead and swatch that for you and put that picture here to make my life easier. For the next product, oh, this is the product I actually chose. I was really excited about this lip cuddler. It is a lipstick by Nature's Cartel in the shade, I believe it's Nostalgia. No, this one's Gin and Platonic. And we'll go ahead and pull that out of the box. The lipstick looks like itself. Oh, oh that's a pretty color. Look at that. I'm excited about it. Again, I'll go ahead and swatch that at some point in the video. For the next product, we have the, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It is Knorr's, Knorr's? I'm gonna say Knorr's, I feel like the A is silent. It is a skin meditation gel cream or a hydrating gel cream. Uh, it is a lightweight soothing gel cream that keeps temperamental skin under control. This hypoallergenic soothing gel cream will give your skin peace. Meditate on how good it feels. So it looks like it's just a normal skin moisturizer, which is great. Um, 
put this in my little closet stash. I'll try to use it at least once before the next video so I can give you guys a review of how much I like this. We'll go, we're gonna go ahead and smell it. Scent, so that's kind of cool. So I'm excited about that. And we'll go ahead and move on to the last product. So it is another Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. I kind of think that they're like, eventually I'm just gonna receive all of the colors because I got the mauve one in a box. I got the coral one in a box. I think I have another one that I can't even like remember off the top of my head. But this one is Amethyst obsession. So we'll go ahead and open up that bad boy. And whoo, that is a lot of purpley colors. I will do my best to try this out. For those of you who watch my videos, you know strong, bright, and bold colors are not my forte. Now let's go ahead and move on to the bag. I do actually like this month's bag. It has that kind of marble look it almost it actually kind of almost matches my kitchen countertops over there so that's kind of cool i do like this i think i'll actually be keeping this bag so that was it for my january 2020 box usually once i get done reviewing the month's box i'll review the products i got in last month's box to tell you if i like them if i didn't like them any other just kind of miscellaneous information i wish to pass along so let's go ahead and start with the tart stay spray setting spray there's like it's the tart double duty beauty stay spray setting spray that is the full name of it but for this video it's just it's the tart setting spray i did use this today um we'll see how much or how well it wears throughout the day it wasn't a very heavy setting spray which i think is really nice so I don't hate it, I like it. I always like me a good setting spray, so I was happy about that product. Um, another product, which I can't physically show you because I already used it all, is the set of four bamboo charcoal sheet masks by the company, I wanna say it's Feel. Again, I love me a sheet mask. Those were nice, I was happy about those. Uh, would recommend to a friend. The next product is the Evolu Super Oil. I did use this on my face today. I used this in combination with the Sunday Riley CEO cream. And then I decided, instead of doing the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, I decided to use the Hydra Veil Primer from Illamasqua. And it took a while for my face to dry before I could put on makeup today. So, word of caution, just keep that in mind. My face is very hydrated, but Anyway, I like this. The smell is still a little weird to me, but I do I do really like this super oil, as it's called. The next product uh, is the Complex Culture Brush. So the idea was that you can, this brush has two purposes. You could use it for setting, or for putting on bronzer, but also for setting your makeup look, which I did both today. You can tell there's a little bit of makeup on it still. This is fresh, fresh out of the vanity. <laughs> So I actually did really like this. Um, I didn't really see it, like I did do put or put on a little bit of bronzer today. I didn't have any issues where the bronzer side would get on the setting spray side or not spray, but the setting powder side. So that ended up working out well. And I do, I do like this as a multi-purpose brush. This is very nice. It's just one less brush that I need to clean when I get around to cleaning my brushes. And then for the last product, it was the Ipsy. It's, I always want to call it Ipsy. It's Ipsy uh, Magnetic Palette, which actually did this for my eye look today, if you guys can tell. I, I like it. I do like the colors. I thought they were going to be a little bit more vibrant, but they're not. But I'm okay with that because it helps. Uh, it, it's actually better, in my opinion, that they're not vibrant because I decided to do such a bold lip today to go with this look. But either way, I'm pretty happy with how all the products turned out from the last month's box. Hopefully January 2020's box is also great. And that's the end, we've reached the end. Thanks so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please consider doing a thumbs up or subscribing or all that normal YouTube nonsense. Thanks so much for watching.